I'm going to show you one of the most interesting settings in Big Picture when it comes to building your portfolio hierarchy, your portfolio reporting capabilities, your portfolio views, even some dashboards. It is also absolutely essential when it comes to um, being able to create custom structures inside your projects, which I know many of you will want to do. This video is part of our effort to deliver the best possible learning experience to every Jira and Confluence user at no cost. If you want to support us, consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, you can also reach out to us anytime you want for paid services that we do offer in these areas. And now back to big picture. I do realize that the concept of a box, uh, which is used by big picture for all parts of your PPM structure is not really intuitive for some people. And I personally think that this is due to the non-standard standard naming convention um, that Big Picture is using. You're, you're thinking about projects, portfolios, and uh, programs. And what you get, you get boxes, right? Who the hell uses that in the project management nomenclature? Crazy. But at the same time, it makes sense. Now, I remember that at the very beginning and for many years to follow, really, uh, there were no boxes. What we had then in Big Picture, we had programs, right? But um, it's, it's a bit closer, it's a bit closer, but still misleading because a program back then could be a project. A program could be a portfolio. A program could also be a program, as the name suggests. So depending on how you use it, it, it could again be many different things. We never knew what it was unless you had a really smart naming convention so that you saw the program and you saw the name of the program and you immediately knew what the program was all about. Now, if you throw on top of that, the fact that Jira is also using a name project inside, right? Then you get a total cluster family of names that are brilliantly misleading, right? And by the way, that is the reason why one of our first items on the big picture training agenda is to clarify the nomenclature that will be used because we want to always be understood correctly. Anyway, if you think um, about all of those different names, a box might actually be not that bad, right? It's also easy to imagine that you can put smaller boxes into bigger boxes to create hierarchies, kind of makes sense. Now, boxes have many different settings in Big Picture, which allow you to be quite flexible when using them. Uh, the proper definition of the box will help you get a perfect view that you're hoping for. You can reuse some predefined boxes, and nowadays you, you have almost 10 of them, as I remember, uh, but some time ago we had only three. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. So we had only three, and fortunately many of them have been migrated to the basic version of Big Picture from the enterprise version. Uh, but the real power lies in understanding how they are configured, how these different types of boxes are configured, how is it going to help you and your project team to control the project that you're working on, right? I'm not going to go into all the details of uh, the settings of the different box types that we have in Big Picture. Some of them are absolutely crucial to understand, if you ask me, and that is why we have a completely separate video regarding that in our premium Big Picture video course. Uh, but I want to tell you today about one setting that, based on our experience, you will almost certainly need. Let's assume that you have a project structure that is not flat, okay? You have uh, parents, you have children, you want to build some kind of a hierarchy out of that, um, maybe to represent a beautiful portfolio. And this is exactly the case that I've met with very recently uh, from a, a person that reached out to us with a problem. This person created a bunch of custom boxes that were needed inside of uh, his portfolio structure, let's call it like this. And those boxes were already pre-populated um, the items inside the box were beautifully linked together. There were all kinds of dependencies, milestones, basically everything was ready. And all was needed at the end was to put those boxes into the beautiful hierarchy. And what it turns out is that that person wasn't able to put the boxes into the hierarchy because something was stopping him from doing that. And after several hours of trying to do that, um, trying to figure out, poking around, searching for answers on the internet, he finally came to contact with me 
And it didn't take me really a long time to figure out that he was missing just a single thing. So you see, in big picture, even though you can put boxes into boxes, not every box can fit into another box. Or actually, I should say, not every box type is allowed to be, for example, a child or a parent of another box type. So because uh, think about it like this. Should you be able to put a portfolio under a sprint? No, of course not, right? Should you be able to put a project under a program increment? Usually not, right? So there are some instances where uh, the proper hierarchy has to be maintained. And Big Picture, of course, has a place with the setting that allows you to do that. If you set this one up properly, you will never have any issues with building uh, a portfolio, even with custom box types, which you will build for your teams. Many teams we are working with find it useful also when it comes to defining in-project structures, allowing you to bring more clarity into those projects that otherwise would have hundreds or thousands of tickets inside. So I'm talking like phases, I'm talking the breakdown to sprints, uh, maybe some gates, whatever naming convention you're, you're, you're following. So essentially, this parent setting is vital for all the box hierarchies you will be building. So if you're trying to put a box into a box and it doesn't work, this is going to be the reason. And now that you've learned it, uh, there is one less pitfall waiting for you. Congratulations. If you can't afford the paid training, then hopefully the materials that we have on our YouTube channel will come in handy. If this one did, consider giving it a like. Uh, put a comment in to help other users maybe find it as well. And for more useful tips on Jira, Confluence, Big Picture, and other amazing apps really in this ecosystem, consider subscribing to the channel. And with this, be extraordinary, have fun using Big Picture.